2023 has taught me to expect the unexpected, and I cannot believe this Democrat actually supports the crypto industry. As you all know, the SEC has unjustly gone after Ripple, Library, Coinbase, Binance, you name it. And we have seen a lot of blowback from President Biden, Miss Warren, Brad Sherman, etc. But Rep. Richie Torres, who is also a Democrat, came out swinging in this epic, epic tweet and a letter to Mr. Gary Gensler. If you're brand new to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day, I'm Wendy O. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. Let's talk exactly about what Rep. Richie Torres, a Democrat, a blue man, had to say for Gary Gensler because his words are pretty fierce. Crypto regulation by enforcement had a dreadful day in court. In light of the SN, or excuse me, SN, SDNY landmark decision in the Ripple case, the SEC must reassess its reckless regulatory assault on the crypto industry. My letter to Gary Gensler. Now, if we go ahead and read this a little bit deeper, let's see what he said. In a landmark legal opinion, Judge Doris resoundingly rejected the regulatory overreach, regulatory overreach is key here, of the SEC, which has been indiscriminately declaring all crypto assets except Bitcoin to be securities. Again, I do not think all crypto assets should be indicated or declared as securities because they do different things. And over time, crypto assets evolve. They're very different than stocks. Once a stock is launched or on the open market, it's a stock. With crypto, we're talking about a true decentralized economy. We're talking about upgrades. We're talking about mainnet. We're talking about DAOs. We're talking about different utility and use cases. So that is key there. Anyways, by emphasizing the need to prove the presence of an investment contract, Judge Torres' reasoning represents a return to rigorous application of the Howey test, which has been applied slippery by the SEC. He is right. Absolutely right. The SEC loves to apply Howey to everything. And again, Howey is not even very easy to understand. I have read Howey so many different times. And I'm trying to apply it to different things. But basically with Howey, they're indicating if a specific sale of something meets these different prongs than it is a security. And how he came about because of orange groves. Well, when we're talking about the Ripple case with XRP, basically what happened was XRP was being sold on the secondary market on a crypto exchange, and that was indicated not to be a security. So it's basically saying that a production company can create, um, let's just say a phone, and that could potentially be a security depending on the way they create it or whatever. But when it gets to Walmart, it shouldn't be a security. And that's exactly what the SEC wanted to do. They wanted to really go after everything and indicate everything be a security when in fact it's not because crypto assets operate differently. But anyways, he went on to say, indeed, the latest court decision establishes a clear, clear rule that should bear the name of Judge Torres, who has brought long overdue legal clarity to the chaos of crypto regulation long overdue legal clarity to the chaos of crypto regulation. Can you imagine Gary Gens being Gary Glenzer right now? The fact that we have one of the blue folks that's actively attacking him saying, you know what, you're wrong. You're not doing your job properly. And basically saying that we need legal clarity in the United States of America for crypto assets is really embarrassing for our public servants. And again, I am going to be a single issue voter this election, and it's going to be for somebody who supports Bitcoin, crypto, anti-CBD, see all of that type of stuff. And I firmly believe that social issues will essentially dissipate or minimize a lot if people have access to more money, then they'll have access to better products and services. And I'm so happy that we're seeing a bipartisan effort to really change the trajectory of how crypto is regulated in the US or how it's classified. This is what we need. Bitcoin, crypto, and NFTs, digital assets, were created for the people, by the people, to help improve our quality of life. Yes, there's bad actors in every industry, but this is a monumental day, and I'm so happy that Richie Torres clapped back and used his platform as a public servant to actually do his job. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, set alerts, and follow me for more because I got all of the crypto and NFT tea. Bye-bye.